Hey everybody, uh, back with another video. I was messing around with uh, some Galaxian boards and um, this is actually a working board here. But um, online you, you can uh, download this uh, at KLOV or other places you can actually download the Galaxian troubleshooting guides. And in the guides they they tell you to, hopefully you can see this, um, or they, they say, you know, one of the tools you can use is a video probe so that you can, you know, instead of an oscilloscope, um, or not instead, but as an alternative, I guess, is a better word, um, you can hook up this video probe, which is just a piece of wire plugged into R59 um, on the side that's facing R, the R62 or whatever. And then you also solder a 470 ohm, if you can see that, a 470 ohm resistor on there. And then you can, you know, in the troubleshooting guide, it'll tell you to like to probe different chips and to look for certain behaviors um, on the monitor. So while I have, what my issue was on a different board is I did not have any fire sound. And I could have just shotgunned, replaced the chip, but I thought it'd be interesting just to try um, the old school way of troubleshooting this thing. So it says, um, the fire miss if the fire miss missile sound is missing, it can be fixed by replacing C26, the Mylar cap. Um, if not, take place a video probe on pin five of IC7T. So 7T is up here. There's a little shadow there. It's a L. It's I think it's a amplifier. LM three two four. Does it say it's an amplifier? I don't know. Usually the LMs are. I might have to look it up. But that one right there, LM three two four pin five, and you should see some dancing lines um, on the screen, and they should get brighter if, as you move the probe to pin six and seven of the same chip. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set this up on a tripod. Um, go into test mode on the PCB and and then um, show you what it looks like on a known working board. So be right back. Alright, so first I just figured I'd boot it up and show you that it's... I know it's sideways because I have it on my... Um, I have it on my um, horizontal monitor here for the testing, but you can see that... The shooting side uh, sound is working, and I think this, yeah, this is regular Galaxian. All right, so we know it's working. So what we'll do is we go into uh, we go into test mode, and for some reason, I don't know if it's the adapter I have or or what, but. It should make sounds when I'm pressing the joystick, but it doesn't. I'm not sure why. But what you want to do is with your test probe, if you put your test probe, test probe, and I'm not showing you actually me doing it, but maybe I will in a second um, to have the camera on two things at the same time. But if you put your test probe on five volts, it's going to give you a green screen like that um, around the outside. So, and if I put it on pin 5 of chip 7T and then I press the fire button twice you'll see these dancing lines like that and then if I move it to pin 6 it gets brighter and you see that they're dancing and then pin 7 should be even brighter still and they're dancing so pin 5 it's kind of dim and there's a bunch of green lines and then you know a little bit brighter on pin six and pin seven so I guess that's how we know if the amp is good or that LM324 is good so what I'm going to do now and just to recap what I was doing is so I, I, I was just moving the probe actually I'll turn on the lights right, and then show so what I was doing is I was taking my probe here the one end of the resistor and I was just putting it right on pin 5 of that chip right there like that and while I was doing that I was using my controller to press the fire button um, 
which so I guess the fire sound must come into this chip. I'd have to read the schematic. Maybe I'll print that out too, but pin 5 must have something to do with the fire um, control or the pressing of the fire button to cause the fire sound. So, um, And it says, you know, it should get those dancing lines, and this is the known working one. So what I'm going to do now is I'll pause, and I'm going to put my non-working board up here, and we'll do All the right, same. I have my non-working board hooked up, and um, this one actually is gal Super Galaxian. And so I'm just going to coin up. It, and you, you can see my fire sound is not working. So there's no missile shot sound. And this is Super Galaxian. All right. So you see that. Um, so now what we need to do is go into test mode. Hook up our probe to R59. And we'll test the green screen first. There we go. Okay, that's to, that's to five volts. And, and now, what we want to do is put it on pin 5 of the um, LM324 and press our fire button. Whoops. And you see how it's almost like a solid line, like the, the lines aren't dancing the same. And that's how I, I figure it was kind of interesting. Dang it, I keep slipping my hand off on the probe. <laughs> It does get brighter on pin 6 and pin 7, but they're not dancing the same way as it was on the working board. So I'm thinking that um, could be a bad, um, indicating the LM324 is bad, um, but I'm, I'm not sure. I just I wanted to show that, and now that we have the behavior shown, hopefully I'm recording. Yeah, um, now that we have the behavior shown, we can actually either replace it and see if that changes it. I might bring up the uh, the um, spec sheet on the LM324, and I don't know. We'll go from there. All right, so I got it working, and, and I'll show you in a second. But um, just to backtrack a little bit, when we were looking at the... Um, I guess I'll sit down. When we were looking at the... The amplifier, which is right, the, yeah, the LM324 right there. You guys can see that right there. When we were looking at pin 5 and then comparing it to pin 6 um, and pin 7 with the video probe, it, the, it wasn't dancing, the lines weren't dancing. It, like, they didn't, it almost seemed like it didn't have the same level of activity. Um, to me on the input because pin 5 was the input but it the was get the screen was getting brighter from a you know um, light green to a bright green when we probe from 5 to 6 when we went from to pin 6 and pin 7 it was definitely brighter so I started thinking about it and I was thinking that the amplifier was probably working it was something probably the input probably wasn't working as well as it should um, so I came to the schematic, and hopefully you can see this okay. Um, the fire comes in off of the, I guess, the uh, sound bus or something like that, and then it goes into R30. And I did check. I checked all these components. I just basically backtracked it. I checked this. Um, what is that? Is that a Zener? No, I, I guess it's just a regular diode. 4148? I don't know, but I, I checked it. It looked, compared it to the other board, looked fine. Um... And then you have this 7R, this 4066, a CD4066. And it's like some digital switch, I think, or something like that. I looked up the schematic, but, you know, I don't understand this stuff enough, well enough to actually, like, test every little component um, exactly. But it just seemed, uh, actually, this is it right here. The fire comes in here, comes into pin 11, 
Um, and then I think pin 12 is the control and 11 is like an input or output and 10 is an input or output. And I just had a feeling that it had to be this chip. I don't know. I was just taking a guess. I went ahead and socketed that chip and, um, I had pulled one, a 4066 off of a working board. Actually, it, was a, it, w it wasn't a working board. It was a scrap board. So I didn't even know if that was going to work. And let's see if I coin up. And now we have our sound. So it, it turned out to be chip number 7... Dang, seven what R? Yeah, seven R a four zero six six right there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the video probe again. I'll put this on the tripod, use the video probe real quick, and just see what it looks like um, in test mode again. All right. So hopefully we have it, so you can see it. And I'm gonna hook up to I'm gonna hook up my video probe. So R59, and then on the amplifier 7T, amplifier 7T pin 5, and whoops, You can see it. Look at the that like the dancing line. So um, that looks normal. And then if we go to pin seven, it gets brighter. Pin six, it's brighter. Pin seven, it's brighter. Pin five, a little dimmer. So we know the amplifier works, and that's what it should look like on the input as well when I press the fire button in test mode. All right. So I think that's it. Guys, I got fixed the, the fire sound on a Galaxian. Hopefully I explained it well enough. If not, hopefully me actually doing it um, helps somebody in the future. All right, till next time. All right, I'm, I'm sitting. Um, I put the game board back in my cocktail cabinet. And I got the lights off, so there's not a lot of glare. But I just figured uh, I definitely have an issue with my test harness because if you're in test mode and you press any of the buttons, you should be able to hear a sound. So if you press and hold it, it'll play that sound um, consistently or it'll play a sound consistently. That's the fire button. So if you press it once and let go, it'll shoot. If you press it twice and hold it, it'll make that long sound, um, just the fire button. And that's what we should have seen that activity on on uh, the amplifier line the dancing lines so anyway i just figured i'd come back and let you hear the sounds that it's supposed to play in test mode i'm not sure why what's wrong with my harness where it's not playing those so all right now i'm done bye